Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Most difficult exercise for someone who's covering the news and who is supporting Juventus is the day after a loss. And especially a day after losing, not the Scudetto because we have three remaining games, but losing a game that we could have celebrated today with a big smile, the ninth in a row, number 38. But... Without too much waiting, let's see what the Italian and international papers are saying about our beloved, yes, I said beloved, Juventus. There are good and there are bad things when you have to cover the front pages after a loss. You know, you know that you will see a lot of papers talking about your team, so it will remind you every time the big loss you had. But sometimes you find some news that give you a smile back and we will see both of them, the bad and the good, on the first paper that we will cover today, I call Gazzetta dello Sport. So Gazzetta dello Sport, we see two players, Ronaldo and then we see Messi. What are they talking about? The goals that they made? The assets that they made? No, not at all, not today. They are saying Juve stecca Scudetto, Juventus miss the Scudetto and that's what they are talking about actually then they are also saying that Immobile just scored one goal more than uh, CR7 yesterday because he scored CR7 no but then you see below you see Inter Messi why not Inter Messi perché no and that's uh, everything can happen in football we saw it with Ronaldo but come on guys we don't have to exaggerate also why are they saying that that it's possible we go inside and then we see Messi take house in Milano and the supporters of Inter are dreaming are they speaking about Lionel Messi no 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 they are speaking about the father Jorge or Jorge Messi that he's taking a house near to the offices of Inter so guys Milan we know it's a fashion city it's a city where a lot of things happen does that mean that Messi will play for Inter next season I don't think so then let's see okay but I'm happy I'm delighted that I saw that news on Gazzetta dello Sport the most important Italian paper because it took me away a bit from uh, not celebrating the Scudetto yesterday what else are they saying La Gazzetta and that takes me back to reality unfortunately they are saying that Juventus might win the Scudetto but for the first time at least since a couple of years without any record why what are they saying that normally Juventus has or the best defense or the best attack not a lot or uh, the team with the less defeats this time Juventus is nowhere near to win one of those records so we are first we will probably win the league with but not having those records and that's a real big problem for Juventus Corriero dello Sport non è da Juve flop a Udine sprecato il match ball scudetto this is not Juve style we missed or we did a big flop, uh, flop at Udinese we missed the first match ball for Scudetto guys for me this was not even the first one because we missed it already at Milan we missed it at Sassuolo uh, even Atalanta even if there they had, there were some excuses but guys it's a big problem and then we see the small title Sarri che delusione troppo disordinati Sarri after the game he said that the problem was in the second half that we missed organization so I'm asking we can blame a lot of things but when are we taking responsibility accountability and when I say we I speak about Sarri the coach we go to the next one or inside actually because I want to follow up on that uh, supporters were really angry versus Sarri they are saying pasta vai via stop go away so they you know on social media a lot of people after the game said we don't want to see another year like that you are not a Juve caliber you are not ready for Juve 
major part of the responsibility are yours so guys let me know let me know after putting a like on the video let me know what you think sorry until the end of the season would you sack him today i would not but let me know what you think or would you keep him one more year i'm really curious about that on social media and we saw it on the paper they are speaking about it then we see another article about paratici before the game who was saying that if the other team doesn't want the scudetto we have no problems to take it what does that mean yes indeed the other ones reached their objective of being second third of being in champions league uh, looks like nobody wants the scudetto so paratici is saying i'm taking what's really sad is this year for maybe the first time i'm not 100 percent sure that the scudetto is deserved fully by juve it is because the winner always deserves but i believe it's deserved yes but also it's because the other ones the other teams were not able to catch us and that's a problem to support the last italian paper and then we have also some mercato news so stay tuned Tutto Sport is saying Sari ora spiegaci Sari please explain us now I will not uh, talk uh, too much about it anymore because we already covered it and then Mercato News where Emerson Palmieri remains a priority for Juve who's valued around 20 million by Chelsea and this is reported by a lot of papers a lot of Mercato people that think that yes Juventus is still on Emerson Palmieri do you want him to replace Alexandro that did a disaster yesterday on the first goal or would you have him as a sub of Alexandro Marca is speaking about the top scorers because yesterday Ronaldo was not able to score Ciro Immobile in the uh, night game was able to score so 30 for, 31 for him 30 for Ronaldo and then we have Robert Lewandowski with the Bundesliga that is already over with 34 goals and the last news because a lot of you were talking about Champions League Giuseppe with a team like that we will not go far away in Champions League I tell you first we have to beat Lyon for me that's really far away because focus on the last three games of Champions League but why am I really sad really 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 it's because we see players from Real Madrid players for Barcelona players for all the teams taking a long holiday look at that Mundo Deportivo is showing Messi and Suarez having the time of her life they are saying Cargan Pilas they are charging the batteries for the Champions League winning yesterday would have mentally give us the opportunity to start chilling and focusing on Champions League now we are not able we will have to wait at least until Sunday evening so guys thanks for uh, thanks for following the channel put a like if you like the video let me know in the comments what you think about all we discussed and again it was a lot of things thank you porta juve